Well, hello. Are you looking for a story? You've come to the right place. I'm going to tell you all about Radon Vasa, the salmon of knowledge. Now, we have to begin at the beginning, at the sacred well, Tober Segas. Do you know where that is? Well, that would be the well at the start of the River Boyne. But it always, wasn't always the start of the River Boyne. There once was a well, the well of wisdom, and it was surrounded by nine hazelnut trees, the nine sacred hazelnut trees, and only a select few people could go to this well, and they always took care to travel around the same direction of this, as the sun, around the well. Well, a young woman named Bowen. She wanted to go up and see the well. And so she did. She set off one day, up she went to see the well. And when she got to the well, well, she decided to go about things her own way. And so she went in the opposite direction of the sun around the well. The well water was so shocked at this way of going about the well, that it rose up. Well, it wasn't as shocked as Bowen was, because the water that rose up went over Bowen and started carrying her along through the countryside, through the fields and through the hills, and everywhere they went, they were etching out a bed for the river Boyne, Awan Naboinia all the way out to the Irish Sea. Now, some would say that Bowen was wrong to go about things her own way, but between you and I, her river still exists today, and you and I remember her name and her story because of it. Now, one day out in the self-same Irish Sea, a salmon was swimming along, looking for a nice spot to lay her little um, fish eggs to spawn. And off she went up the river bone to look for this nice spot to lay her eggs. As she went up the river, she noticed a beautiful megalithic tomb, fabulous in the countryside, called Doubt. This looks like a good place, she said, and she kept on swimming. Then around the bend of the Boyne, Bruna Boyne, beautiful, bigger structure came in front of her and that was sheed in Broga, New Grange, with its magnificent white crystal walls. Well now, she knew that this river was not just a special river, it was a sacred river, so she kept on swimming up and all the way past Nout, the other megalithic tomb, on the bend of the Boyne, Bruna Boyne. And up she went to Tober Sagas, the well of wisdom. It looked like a nice shady pool underneath the shade of the nine sacred hazelnut trees. And so she spawned her little fish. Now, the little fish growing up in this little pool, the well of say, Tober Sagas, they used to love to munch on the hazelnuts that would fall into the well. Now, not just any hazelnuts. Remember, they're sacred hazelnuts from the nine hazelnut trees. And the more of these hazelnuts the little fish ate, the more speckles of brown they would have on their fins. Now, it was said that the fish that ate the most of these sacred hazelnuts would contain all the knowledge of the well and the sacred hazelnuts, and it would become the salmon of knowledge, the Bradon Vasa. And a famous druid, a poet and warrior, Finnegus, heard tell of this fish, the salmon of knowledge on Bradon Vasa. And so he went to the side of the river Bowen, the river Boyne, and he decided that on top of everything he learned, he would fish this salmon and he would then know all there was to know in the whole world. 
Well, he spent day and night, year after year, searching for this fish and never caught sight of on Brad on Fassa. So one day when he was fishing, about seven years of fishing, Fionn McCool, the Fionn McCool, I hear you say, yes, indeed, Fionn McCool, the famous warrior. But he wasn't a famous warrior at this point. He was still a young lad, probably about the same age as you are now. And he was sent to study with Finnegus the Druid so that he could learn all the poetry and all the, the knowledge that Finnegus had. Well, he was set about making the fire so that when Finnegus caught the fish of the day, they'd cook it and have their lunch. And they were always hoping that it could be on Brad on Fesa, the salmon of knowledge. Fionn McCool was up making the fire and down by the river was Finnegus. Now, he was watching all the fish following the same pathway as the first fish who had laid her eggs in the famous well. And then up over the weir, he caught sight of the most speckliest, shiniest fish he had ever seen. So many speckles on its back, he said, that must be the salmon who's eaten the most of the hazelnuts up in Tobersagus. And so he took out his big net and as on Brad on Fassa was leaping up over the weir, in he jumped into Finnegus's net. Well, he couldn't believe his luck. He leapt up the side of the banks of the Boyne and up the hill towards Fionn McCool, where he was tending the fire. Fionn, I have it. I have the salmon of knowledge on Bradon Vassa. Set a good fire and cook this wet fish well. I'll go up to the hut, get washed, and I'll have all the knowledge in the world. Fionn McCool was as excited as Finnegus. He'd already learned much from Finnegus, but he was so excited that Finnegus would know everything in the world and would be able to teach him. He set about setting a great fire and he put on Brad on Fassa onto the spit, the whole fish of it, and he started turning and turning the spit gently and slowly so that the fish would cook just perfectly. He took note of what Finnegas had told him not to eat the tiniest bit of this fish, for then all the wisdom would go into him. So he took ever so good care of this fish, cooking it nicely. And just before it was ready, it started getting a little too hot on the fire. And then he saw this blister coming up on the scales, on the skin of the fish. And so he decided this, he really wanted to do a good job cooking this fish well. So he burst the blister with his thumb so the fish would be nice and smooth. But just as he did it, ay, 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 the oil of the fish was burning hot. Mm, mm. And he put his thumb in his mouth to cool his thumb down. Well, at that moment, he knew he had made a big mistake. Do you know how he knew he made a big mistake? Well, because at that moment, Fionn knew everything there was to know in the whole world. He knew so much in his head that his eyes were bulging and bright. Oh dear. Just then, Finnegus had finished washing up for lunch and he was hopping and skipping down the path towards Fionn and the fire. Well, soon as he got to Fionn, he took one look at him and he knew he didn't know because he knew as much as Fionn McCool. He knew because he could see in Fionn's eyes all the wisdom of the world. Well, Finnegus was not mad. He knew that 
all the knowledge in the world didn't make you wise. Only experience did that. So Finnegus kept on Fionn McCool for a while longer, helping him to make sense of all the knowledge in the world and giving him experiences that would help him to become not just knowledgeable, but wise. And so they worked together a little while longer until Fionn McCool went off to meet the Fianna, the most famous warriors of all of Ireland. But that, my friend, is a whole other story. That's it for tonight. I hope you rest well, and I hope one day, maybe on your plate for lunch or for dinner, you might have a bit of the Bradon Vasa, the salmon of knowledge. Good night and rest well. <laughs>